Good morning. I think we're gonna be in for a good one today. A little foggy there. <laughs> rain and then now it's back to snow again so we're just getting our our walk on before it's too bad that you can't see out that way but Mont Charleston's out that way what are you doing climbing the top of the mountain oven for Christmas from uh, my friend's mom. We'll see though, we'll see what this weather's like. I told myself no matter what, I'm using this new Dutch oven today, so get this fire kind of cold up and we'll uh, 
get the old Dutch oven on there and do a pasta dish. Had some friends come hang out for a while and uh, now it's dinner time. It was sad to see him go. Haven't seen them in a while. Pieces are all big chunks. So I got the Dutch oven on there. It's not on there the best, but. It's new, so I want to get it nice and hot, kind of burn off some of that stuff on there. But it's also kind of acting as a cover. It's starting to come down again. Part of me so bad wants to just move the van this way, but I moved the van earlier, and I don't still think it matters. It seems like I'll move it one way, and then it'll go, the wind will start changing direction, so just make it work. I want the tarp to catch on fire. All right, let me show you what I'm working with today. Let me show this. Okay, it's a bit of a recycling day. Besides the chicken, uh, the chicken's new. I buried these out from the uh, pantry yesterday. So I'm gonna do like a pasta dish with chicken in there. Uh, roasted tomatoes, the leftover onions from the kebabs. It's gonna have uh, some melted mozzarella, fresh garlic butter, and then I'm gonna top it off with some uh, like over, e over easy eggs on top, runny eggs on top. So let's uh, really need to boil water. I'm gonna solely do it on the Dutch oven. We'll see how long that takes. Hopefully it's not a hassle. Obviously I'm not doing this whole bag of noodles. So we'll boil noodles, get that taken off, and then we'll start doing the onions and chicken and tomatoes and it'll all pretty much be done from there. Let's do our water in there, start boiling. Alright, it shouldn't take too long for that water to boil, it wasn't too much. Alright, we might as well get this stuff cut up. Three handfuls. 
I always cook like I'm uh, cooking for an army. Those are cooking pretty fast, actually. I'd say they're 80% there. I might have estimated the water out perfect. the hard part now we just gotta cook the rest of it. Mm. That's perfect. I'm just gonna do nice thick chunks. I uh I bought two packs of chicken thighs yesterday, yeah, and I cooked them all on the flat top, and I realized that I wanted some chicken for today's video, so I took these off. They got like a two second little se sear on them. in there. I'm going to do a little bit of oregano. Yeah, no. Well, might as well start throwing everything in. Oops. 
throw a little bit more salt and pepper in there. A little bit more garlic. Foggy there. Beautiful. Oh, God, it smells so good. Smells so good. Pretty darn good for uh, being thrown together in a Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. So the weather's supposed to be a lot nicer tomorrow. It's like the one day out of the week that was no bueno. So normally I end the video while I'm eating, you know, while I'm eating, but I think since it's been raining all day, I'm going to walk down the wash over here and just do a little adventure tomorrow. See if the rain revealed any treasures. I don't think that would have made this if you had to add something, would have been uh, maybe some spinach. So, all right, I'm gonna finish this up. I probably won't see you till tomorrow. I feel like it's gonna be an early, an early night. It's with the rain all due to you. Good morning, good morning. We's uh, walking down this wash. I was thinking this morning, I was like, I won't, it just like lightly snowed for the most part yesterday. It's not like it was a heavy rain. And uh, so 
it's not like a bunch of shit. Stuff's gonna be washed up down this wash, but we'll walk down it anyway. Get a nice morning hike in. I do appreciate everybody's feedback uh, about starting the second channel. I guess I just got a little ambitious there for a second. I think it, I just love creating new things. And I think I, the thought of starting another channel, I couldn't help to think of like a dozen things I would do. But uh, I appreciate the feedback and I think I'm just gonna stick to the old same channel and uh, not get too crazy. So let's see what Jade's looking at over here. Nothing. All right. We's going to keep on walking. All right, I'm gonna make a sharp right turn here and head up this little wash. Go up this way. Dude's always gotta be in front. to get back over that way you can like take the easy route and just go up there or take the hard route and go super steep and there's holes over there but I highly doubt there's anything there even though there's one up there that has potential that one we could at least like walk and loop around over there and look at it, I guess, instead of uh, walking down and straight up. You're going the wrong way. We're staying high up here. Come on. Just like a child, she'll be nice and tired later. Like a doggy. It's a nice view out that way.
cave looking like things were down that way. Once I saw them from a different angle, you can see they're just uh, shadows casting make-believe caves. Whew, didn't bring no water. Like an amateur idiot. Thanks guys for watching and I'll be going into town Wednesday to feed those in need. So whew, stay tuned for that and thank you donators and Patreons, subscribers and everybody. Until the next adventure, adios. No, we'll see you on the next adventure. Adios.